right, it's time for an update on the Infinity Coupe. This car is still in, in the garage, and there's there's me, um, but I want it out of the garage, and so I'm working slowly towards that. Uh, something that is good is that this part here should be leaving soon. Hopefully that'll be sold today. Uh, somebody's coming to pick it up in about an hour, I think. And uh, the ABS was something that I was able to get off a little bit last time. Still a lot more just random finicky garbage, though, left to do. Uh, including a lot of this interior stuff here, which is where I'm going to be focusing today because I kind of realized that I'm not going to be able to take the uh, transmission or anything off unless all of this is disconnected. So I'm going to try to work on that now and hopefully get the uh, well, steering shaft out, maybe some of this other jumble of random garbage in here. And yeah, <laughs> so some news. I had a guy coming for the hood. Uh, he was going to come down here and pick it up. And he was also going to take the bumper, which is hanging out on the end of the car, and the uh, composite front piece, which is uh, that piece over there on the tires underneath the wire in this messed corner that I have going on. <laughs> There's just a lot of crap in here. But yeah, I was very excited about that because it would have been a decent amount of money on the budget. And it would have been great to uh, get rid of all this stuff, but as things work out, it didn't happen. It kind of feels like I'm running my own business, except everybody is extremely flaky. <laughs> and in a way, I do run my own business on YouTube, but I only really have loyalty to myself in that way, and obviously you as the viewers, but <laughs> selling stuff on Kijiji is a pain in the butt. And uh, it makes me weary of trying to sell anything big, because I know people will get flaky with that too. Some people are awesome, and I have no issues at all with them, and then other people, they just, <laughs> I don't know, just a pain in the butt. You'll notice there's an aggressive lack of wires over on the, I guess this would have been the driver's side back in the day. Um, but yeah, uh, not much here anymore, and that's because I have been working on trying to get the wiring out of the car. I'm struggling with just one last part to get all of this mess out of here. Literally all this is being held in just by this stuff that's in the way. Uh, mainly the uh, heater core, I believe, is what those plugs are on the back. But pretty much everything there can't be brought through. Uh, this stuff is all that's left. It kind of needs to be run through the bottom under there, but there just isn't room, especially for these big pieces. If these bigger <laughs> things didn't exist, I might be able to do it, but at the moment, I'm kind of stuck. So that piece up there is the engine wiring harness. All this stuff down here is body, and uh, even though I've taken off a ton of plugs, I still can't get it off. Something that is kind of cool is I managed to empty this entire front section here. No more shifter, and the car is now just uh, free balling it. Uh, there's just a big hole in there for whatever reason. And this is what the wiring harness looks like on the inside. Just as I said before, a disaster in a nutshell. But the steering column is gone, and that's a big piece done. Um, this pedal here, I'm having trouble removing the <laughs> line from it. It's incredibly difficult. I guess that's a good thing, but yeah, it's difficult, so <laughs> we'll get there. Um, next thing, uh, I don't want to do it, but I need to take this piece off. It is impeding literally all my progress at the moment, so I've got to figure out how to do that. It doesn't have any obvious way to take it off, so I'm kind of worried about it. And I'm thinking, uh, well, we're getting really close to being able to yank this engine out of here. There's still quite a few things I need to do. I need to drop the sway bar. Uh, I want to empty the transmission because you don't pull an engine with a full transmission. That's just a mistake. <laughs> I got to take off the exhaust or cut it. I got to take off the drive shaft. Uh, obviously undo the engine mounts and I need to get an engine crane and a tire or something for this to sit on. Um, yeah, some stuff to do there, but overall, like, I'm getting close. Uh, still, the worry is, if you've been watching these videos consecutively, then you know what I'm talking about. I still have an empty chassis here with just parts, and obviously I have a ton of parts still, but uh, <laughs> they're going slowly. The thing is, in order to get rid of this body, I'm either going to have to trick somebody into coming and taking it, either for free or for a bit of money, or I'm going to have to drag it to the junkyard myself. But I'd like to salvage these wheels because they're worth a bit. In Canada, winter tires are usually quite expensive around this time because, well, it's getting close to winter and people want them, so I kind of want to capitalize on that. But at the moment, <laughs> it's rolling on those, and I'll have to figure out a way to get it to roll onto a trailer, take those off, dump it at the junkyard, 
uh, the problem is I don't have a truck or trailer, so I'm going to have to do some thinking and some calculations to see if it's worth it and calling around to a couple different yards to see if they'll take it because I'm not sure that they will. <laughs> Obviously, to take it to a junkyard, we're going to be selling it for scrap metal value, uh, so it's going to be weighted and uh, hopefully they'll give me a hundred bucks for it or whatever but I'm gonna have to take out all this random padding and stuff because at the moment it's mixed metals um, I'm not gonna be able to take that out but some of this stuff I'll take out for them and then we'll just throw that in the bin but yeah up next trying to take that out and if I can do that that's a big boogeyman over there something I've been afraid of for a while same thing with the pedals and such the throttle pedal is gone too but with all that stuff removed, I do feel better about this. I find even just a small amount of progress helps me to overcome these challenges. Like when I look at this wiring harness, I get discouraged. But knowing that it's all free and literally just connected through that one hole makes it uh, something that is manageable. <laughs> it's not going to fit in my wire box. That's the only problem now. Well, some progress. Uh, it's been raining a lot and I've had the door open. So now all this stuff is wet. <laughs> But I've been waiting for a guy to come and give me 50 bucks for that piece and uh, Yeah, I get a nice red one right here 50 bucks. So that's a nice nice thing um, Good stuff that's happened. Uh, I got a little bit distracted by working on the uh, ABS module so now that is entirely gone including its bracket and I've just been trying to thread these brake lines underneath all this stuff uh, in order to get them out. You can see that one of them is flailing over there. That's from the front wheel. I already have the driver's side front wheel off. I'm just working on trying to get this one off. Well, good morning everyone. Uh, <laughs> you may notice a few differences in the garage. It's actually a few weeks later and it's still a rainy day, obviously. Actually, last weekend I don't think it was raining, but I was sick so I couldn't really do anything. I could have probably come outside and worked, but I really just wanted to recover, so ended up staying inside most of the day but anyway here I am uh, outside once again and the car is not looking that much different but there are some noticeable changes so let me show you big change number one uh, the carpet is gone and so are all of the random foam bits that were underneath the carpet and I have just put this big piece of metal in here just to get it out of the way um, but the reason that the carpet is gone is because I cut it up and I threw it out because I honestly don't think anybody was going to want it anyways and it's really about time that I started th to throw out stuff that uh, is not going to be sold. The pile grows and it is still very overwhelming but I was able to get rid of some other foam stuff that is unnecessary. That back bumper foam is actually in reasonable condition so I'll probably try and give that away. <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically not much has changed, just a little bit of cleanup. And I also made some modifications to my other Infinity, and that's its old uh, battery terminal. <laughs> so I'll be putting that on this car. Yeah, so I have some uh, bed frames. I think this is two bed frames potentially. Not sure. Um, gift from my mom from the side of the road apparently but uh, these are a lot lighter than the rails I had originally intended for my go-kart build so I'm going to be cutting the wheels off these and I'll put those back somewhere else because uh, they're just huge and in the way but I need to uh, get these stood up because they're currently just on the ground in the way as well so the plan for today is quite simple I uh, well <laughs> originally I was gonna take care of this but uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to because it's all wet and that just makes it heavier and gross and also my leaf blower ineffective so I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, which means a little bit more time to spend in here. First thing I want to do, though, is clean up this walkway. Uh, just too much stuff in the way. <laughs> and I'm thinking, you know what? It might be time for some drastic cutting measures on this AC system. It has been in my way for too long, and uh, I really just want to get rid of it. Um, this engine has got to come out soon and uh, it's fall now it's October we're getting close to snow here it actually could totally snow in October and uh, I'm a little bit behind on my goals I'm still afraid to get further than this to be honest with you but I need to conquer that fear and uh, just move forwards and uh, that's not gonna be easy but <laughs> here we go the car is already stripped down to a point where I can't let it sit it's got to do something it's got to go it can't be sold as is it needs to be further worked on and so that's my goal Ooh, almost died boys and uh, maybe one girl I haven't actually checked the channel analytics but my other channel is 99% guys but anyway 
uh, this is what progress looks like. The front sway bar has been removed and uh, it's relatively clean so I'll probably try and sell that and I'm also including the uh, end links as well but goodness I had to break out my impact for that and a uh, shiny 14 millimeter that was previously unused but well got a bit of a workout today but that gives me a lot more clearance underneath to remove the engine um, which is kind of the reason that I took that off in the first place my idea here is fairly simple uh, what I want to do eventually, once I get more stuff out of the way, is uh, just pull the engine up off the mounts and forward so it's low risk. Uh, I'm not just yanking it up into the air or anything like that. My ceiling here is, well, it's not low, but it's not high either. I don't think it's high enough to have a full engine crane and then have the engine like up and out of the chassis. So it's important to uh, get as much out of the way as I can. Now that in mind, I have the impact out and ready and the air tank is full, so it's time to bust some nuts. Uh, don't take that out of context. Um, at least ones that I uh, have been having difficulties with and one of them has been the AC. So I'm gonna try to get that out if I can get that thing in there. So the weather has taken a turn for the worst, <laughs> but I'm still out here anyway. I'm just glad I decided not to do anything in the driveway. Um, yeah, my Infinity is unfortunately dead again. The battery is toast on it. Uh, so it looks like I'm probably gonna have to buy a new battery, which sucks. Um, because it just dies in like three days of not being used, which is <laughs> abnormal. So I'm not, uh, not 100% on that. Uh, I don't really know what's changed in the time that it's been sitting, but anyway. <laughs> Let me show you what I've got in terms of progress because this is significant and very important. The AC has been removed from the engine and uh, yeah, it's just hanging out now. <laughs> so this is all the connections for it. Uh, I have managed to pull it to the side, uh, although I am bending things and stressing things a little bit. I'm really not too worried about it anymore. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of coolness in here as well. I'll try to make it easy for you to see, but there's the engine mount. Uh, so we'll be taking that off. And there's another one that is identical on the other side, just with a lot less room to remove it. And um, there's a block heater cord under there, which we will have to uh, wrap up as well. That cover that you can kind of see, uh, it's right here, oh, right there. <laughs> that is covering the headers. Uh, so that's going to make it difficult to remove the, uh, the bolts for the cats, but I can kind of see one in there. It's pretty darn deep. Um, but yeah, goodness, uh, I'm just in the process of removing some of the lines and stuff from this. I could bust the system open, which I may do, we shall see. Um, I'm kind of thinking about that now. Because um, if I do in fact do that, then that would kind of give me a lot of relief here and I'd be able to remove all this stuff. Um, but I'm not sure that that's the route I want to take just yet. Uh, but for now, I'm just kind of trying to remove things, put the brackets that are on the ground back on the engine because I don't want to lose it, and then, goodness progress. That's what I like to see. So I've hit a bit of a standstill and that uh, is because I feel like I'm missing tools for the job here. I was thinking about taking out the, uh, well, I'm trying to get some things out of the way from the engine, like I said. So I'm trying to get rid of, uh, oh, the light's not really working, but you can see the cat is down there, or at least the end of the header is connected to the, one of the cats on one side. There's a lot less room on the other side, but right next to it is the steering shaft. And one of the things I need to disconnect is the power steering, uh, which is an interesting one. So what I want to be able to do is um, do it without taking the power steering pump off, which is kind of what I have done to the AC. Uh, so yeah, I don't mind selling the engine without the AC, but I feel like the power steering should probably go with it. Um, so I want to disconnect that shaft and then get down there and try and take the power steering rack out uh, and the lines for it as well because uh, I need to be able to do that to get the engine out. So that's kind of where I've been thinking. But uh, the problem is that I don't have enough extensions to get down there. And uh, yeah, that's kind of an issue. So then I was like, hmm, what about taking out the rest of the AC units? But uh, you can see that deep in there, there's a hose and I need some clamps or pliers that are long to get down there. And I have nothing that actually works to get down there. And there are two of those. And <laughs> of those two things that I want to do, I just kind of feel like neither of them are possible at the moment, at least without significant aggravation. So I'm left at a bit of a standstill. Um, I've just been organizing. 
trying to get some stuff out of the way, moving some wires up higher and stuff just to clear out some of this room, <laughs> getting stuff off the floor and uh, trying to make some room on my workbench. But yeah, I think I'll call it here for today, guys. I will see you again next week with some more. Yeah, as I get forward here, as I've mentioned many times, it, everything just gets harder and harder, so it becomes a bit more of an obstacle for me to get through. But um, yeah, hoping to be able to sell some more stuff, make some more space, make some more money, and get this car out of here before the end of the year. I'll see you next time.